Good morning, it's Friday and welcome to Sabah's Way of Life. So we are now right at the end of August. I do not know where the time has gone, but it is Friday and it is a cooking day. And although there's lots of different things I want to talk to you about, not least the last video where it cut out as I was about to talk about frequency. And I'm going to do that either later today or tomorrow. But right now, at this moment, I'm in the kitchen and there's some things I want to share with you while I'm doing it and before I forget. So, and I think they'll be really useful for those of you who are interested in the way of life that I promote and that I live, not just I promote, but that I live um, to help you live a balanced and traditional way of life that's been lost in today's society. So we need to bring back the old ways. We need to bring back tradition, traditional ways. Those are the ways that fostered peace, health, harmony within the family unit as a whole. Obviously, there are always exceptions, but as a whole, society's broken down because these traditional ways have actually gone and people have actually forgotten how to live like that and how important it is to when you're when you live it's not about us individually it's us as a community that includes the family community the wider community as well so today let me just show you what i'm doing if we look down here um I have made, so the first thing I did this morning, it came to my mind this morning, so I just went and did it, is I have an inventory here of everything that's in my freezer, right? So there's three shelves in the freezer in my kitchen. And every month or two months, in this case, I think it was two months, I use the opportunity, because a lot of these things are crossed off, and then I use the opportunity to take the shelves out of the freezer and get three new bits of paper and write down what's in it. Now, the important, so you can see I've got things written down. Here's the thing. The actual act of doing this and writing it on paper with your hand, it sets about a motion where you, rec first of all, you recognise oh, I've got this and I've got this. This happened to me this morning as I was writing. Even though I'm highly efficient and organised in the kitchen, you have to be. It, it's a skill. Get that skill back. It's not just me. All women who lived that way were because they understood that their role, and it's such an important role, it's the heart of the home, was homemaking, kitchen, cooking, loving, caring, nurturing the family. That's what they all, that's what they did. And in the right environment, their family revered them from that. I know, revered them for that. I know a lot have been taken, a lot of people have been taken for granted, but let's, don't focus on that. Focus on understanding the power that you have as a woman of the home. So, as I was writing down what's in there, I, my mind said, oh, good, let me just give you one example. I found some tortellini in there that's been in there for months. Now, I don't get bothered about sell-by dates. I mean, it's frozen and even you must use it if it's frozen, freeze after a month. No, I, I don't pay credence to what an external person says to me. I look at them and think they look OK. They're frozen. I'm going to eat them. I'm digressing as always. So I was writing this down and I thought, gosh, I've actually got some delicious white sauce that I made when I was cooking something last week. I can't remember. And I put some lovely spring onions in it. I just made this beautiful, oh yeah, cauliflower cheese. The cauliflower was from my garden and I made this sauce with cheese. And I thought, oh, I've got that left over. I can use that with this spinach and ricotta tortellini because it's delicious in a white sauce, just on its own. It's not often I eat pasta, but I love tortellini, which is full with things. So these things happen. Now it's in your head. If I hadn't have done this exercise, I probably would have forgot, forgotten. That's why it's important to go through your freezer regularly, write an inventory so that you use everything in it and you don't waste things. So many people throw food away from their freezer because they've not used it, because they're so busy in their everyday life doing other stuff. And let's be honest with ourselves. How much of that time is spent on the screen? Be 
honest. I respect those who have no time on screen because they're out working for their family because we live in a slave society. That's breaking down though. That's what the system wants. I'm not going to promote that because I don't, because I've chosen to think differently. Remember, it's your frequency. Your frequency, I don't want to digress. I don't want to digress, but it's very important the way you think and what you think and how you think, because it can change your reality in many ways. So by writing this down, you see what's in your freezer. Now, another thing I saw is bindi okra, which I had, uh, I had some fresh ones. I didn't use them all. So I chopped them up and put them in the freezer. I don't throw them away. And I know it's Friday. We're all going to be eating together as a family. My dad loves these with a lot of onions, garlic, ginger, a bit of chili, a couple of tomatoes. I'm going to cook this. So that's wasn't actually on my list. I must have put it in the freezer at some point in the last two months and then forgotten I'd done that, which is another reason why you do this inventory. Very powerful. So I've talked about the inventory enough. Do that and then use everything in there. You know, I found frozen chapatis in there, which I knew were in there, but I didn't know how many. So I thought to myself, well, you know, over here, I made a chapati dough and I'm going to cook fresh, nothing beats fresh chapatis. But I'm going to cook five or six or seven fresh chapatis, whatever I can with this and take them over to my, them over to my parents' house. It's lovely and soft. But in for breakfast in the morning... I would sometimes take out a piece of sourdough or bread. I'm not going to bake bread for a while because I want to use these chapatis. They're homemade. Put them on the on the hot plate, the thawa, which you can kind of see underneath that pan. It's on a, a cast iron hot plate. It softens up. Put a spoon of ghee over the top. And then I have that with a cup of tea or coffee. Delicious. Doesn't take much to defrost. It just takes while the coffee is the mocha is on the cooker or the tea is brewing or whatever um you just turn the cast iron plate on the frozen chapati on top and within a minute two minutes turn it over a couple of times it's defrosted and it's a homemade chapati can't believe that i've got nine ten eleven of them and i want to use them up so immediately i know yes i will bake some bread and probably take it round to my parents because they love they love white bread, home baked, the way I do it. I've got used to it now, so they, they like that. It's quite dense, but easy to manage and chew. So I'll take that over to them. But I will eat the chapatis. I'll also take over some warm chapatis and I can make these daily and take them over because mum is struggling now. She's getting old, her arms hurt. So it's no big deal for me. You know, think about your think about your elders. You know, the only way you're going to know if you've got family members, whatever age they are, but generally speaking, the older generation, if they're struggling is either they tell you, but a lot of them don't. They just suffer in silence or the only way you're going to really know is when you visit regularly and you watch and you observe what they can and can't do. It's not a case of, let me know when, I'll, I'll help you if you let me know. And that's that's okay to do. But you must also play your part and take responsibility to observe. Because we are living in a society where it's almost a shame to ask for help. It's, you should be asking for help no matter what age you are. People who don't ask for help, quite often it comes from a stage where they don't help others themselves because that's what's happened with the frequency that we live in. It's wrong. If you're living in community and in harmony, you are that person. You are your mum, your father, your brother, your sister, your next door neighbour because they're part of you. You're the same, but also you have a unique side. That's what it's all about, being human, the humanness in you. So ask and observe and turn that around. Turn that around. It's actually a privilege when somebody asks me to do something or they tell me something confidential. It's a privilege that I feel humbled that they were able to do that and trust me with that. And there was a time in the past that I would share everything that everyone told me, not out of malice, but didn't really completely understand that some things you just don't, but now I'm very careful. 
And if it's something that needs to be said because it could cause harm by not saying it, I do speak it out, even but to the right family member who's at the right frequency. Or if it's something that's happened online, um, you probably know what I'm referring to, the regular, regular viewers, and it's of benefit to others to know so that they don't get caught by the same problem, issue, um, do speak up. We have to speak up, but do it in the right way. Take your time, understand the situation, the thinking, and then respond rather than react. Okay? Let me turn this um, You remember the lemon, the lemons that I was talking about the other day in the last video? Well, this is what they look like. They're in the jar and you can see, even though I put extra lemon juice in it, it's still not completely submerged. Can you see? So I do need to buy, I'm going to go to the village shortly. I've got to go and do a few jobs. So I am going to buy some fresh lemons and squeeze so that the juice comes above that. But this is just going to now sit in here and uh, ferment. Okay. These are king prawns. I took them out of the freezer and they're defrosting and I'm just going to cook these gently in a little bit of butter ghee, chilli, you know this is like the whole red chilli flakes but the quite hot ones because uh, I know my dad loves this and garlic, freshly crushed garlic, salt pepper, that's it, lemon juice over the top doesn't need much cooking, but needs to be defrosted properly and they can be eaten with that, that lovely buttery sauce. Is your mouth not watering when you think of this? And they can be eaten with chapati later alongside whatever my mother's cooking. And these, for those of you who are not familiar with okra, I know many Indo-Pakistani viewers will be, but not all of them are anymore because many of even the Indo-Pakistani Indo community have forgotten how to cook. Um, and forgotten traditional ways. This, we love to cook with onions. It's like bindi piaz, and it's a lot of onions, which are softened, not browned. Of course, you've got your garlic, and you've got your ginger, and you've got your cumin, whole, whole cumin, a few whole red bullet chilies in. And then you cook, you put some tomatoes in, and you know, you break them up, the tomatoes in, and then you put these in, and you let it steam, and it is delicious. We don't cook these to death. There are some recipes where you cook the bindi, you really cook them so that they're kind of charred. And they do taste good, but we like things lightly cooked and steamed. Sometimes when you're cooking like a spinach curry, it actually enhances the flavour to just let it stick to the bottom of the pan just a little bit and then it brings out some flavour and then you put the water in but you've got to know when to time it again it's all experience but these if you try these lady fingers and look up okra and the benefits of okra unbelievable and if you try cooking them in that this light way with onions and tomatoes and just some basic flavourings don't over over spice it you ruin you ruin a vegetable dish by putting too many spices in. A meat dish, you can afford to do that a little bit more because it's a denser kind of flavour. This is delicate. So you've got the onions, you've got the tomatoes, you've got garlic, ginger, and a little bit of cumin, and that's it. Some people might want to put some coriander in. People have different recipes depending on different communities and where they're from. I also want to show you this. This is a book, and I'm going to cook a couple of biscuits or some biscuits and cakes. And I was just looking at the inside and this is from my mum back in 2020, 2002, which is 22 years ago. These are memories. We go online and get recipes and that's great, but don't forget to use your books. Don't let them go down the memory hole. This brings back memories. Give a gift of a book and put a message in so invaluable it opens and expands the heart that person or that grandchild that child reads it like it is with me oh it expands my heart you remember when it was given to you sometimes the times are not always so good or sometimes they are but it's just books are going down the memory hole buy good books and keep them and pass them down do not throw books away I've got loads got a whole shelf there another one round the back and upstairs 
cookbooks as well, all sorts of books. That's a story for another day. So I'm going to cook some bis some biscuits and I'm going to make a biscuit dough. With biscuit dough, you can make the biscuits. You can either put the dough in the fridge and slice it and just pop them in the oven for 10 minutes. Or you can actually make the biscuits themselves raw, freeze them, and then just take the cookies out and put them in the freezer when you want them. So I'm going to do that today. I've already taken the butter out to soften. Um, this, you know... I'm thinking ahead. I need to take the eggs out of the fridge because they should be at room temperature, to be honest. Um, and I'm going to cook a few cakes. And then what we do is I will take one round to my to my neighbour today because I'm, I'm going around there today. I'll take one round to mum and dad. And they don't eat them in one go. It's just over the week when you have a cup of tea and you want something sweet, it's nicer to have a homemade cake. And I always put a third, sometimes even just half the amount of sugar in which still tastes sweet because somehow the sugar we have today commercially is sweeter than it used to be before. I don't know if you notice. So when a recipe says four ounces, I put two. I, I work it out and then I work out what type of sugar I'm putting in as well. So these are some wonderful things. The other thing is all this garlic and ginger I've bought. These not the best. This is Chinese. I hate Chinese ginger, but that's all I could find. So it doesn't matter. I'm going to peel and um, put into pieces and crush these and have them as little balls in the freezer that I can use or in a little jar that I'll put in the fridge because I'm cooking daily so it won't last so long in the fridge. Nothing lasts long in my fridge because we use it all things all the time. All right, that's what I'm doing. The other thing, see these? I still haven't pickled these green tomatoes. My mum's given me a load of green tomatoes that fell off her tree. Um, and so I'm going to be pickling these as well. So it's a, it's another busy, another busy day. But I just want to share what I'm doing with you and hopefully encourage you to get into your kitchen, whether it's your Friday cooking day or any other day of the week, Sunday, Saturday. But get in there and enjoy it organize your kitchen look at mine even though it looks like there's lots there which there is everything's organized I'm the cook I know where everything is and it's within view that's how old cottage kitchens used to be not the minimalist nonsense where everything's hidden away and you don't know where it is and it's not conducive to wanting to actually go and cook it's all set up here so there's no closed uh, cupboards I've got things hanging up here look see and I just reach out. I, I don't even have to look. I know where everything is. And, and I just put my hand up and reach out and bring it down. It's all in view. My saucepans are all in view. Everything is used. Right? I'm not here to impress anyone else by, look at my kitchen. It's in alignment with modern standards of, oh, minimalist that is by design taking you away from your traditional ways look it's all there knives everything ikea is very good with that you can have a small space like this is and have everything in full view and my fridge is organized everything is organized you can see my freezer's organized everything's written there once you have organized yourself in your kitchen, everything flows. This is a great time We're at the turn of the season and it's a perfect time for you ladies and even men who cook. Get your kitchen organized and in preparation for winter. You'll just feel free of mind. So that you can cook everything at home and as much as if you've just started then you start you don't burden yourself with oh i can't do it just do one thing at a time say so once a week i'm going to cook a homemade meal if you've not, not done it and then s gradually grow on that but have an organized space around you it doesn't need to be tidy being tidy and being organized are two different things everything's organized but there's still a lot of untidiness because I'm using it or I'll tidy it. I will tidy it later. All right. So a bit of a lecture today, but hopefully a positive lecture. And I will speak about frequency 
um, in the next couple of days. I don't want to say something that I can't keep to, but I will attempt to do that in the next couple of days. I will. And I've still got part two to do with the cult. So all of this will be done. But um, I never say I'm going to do it on this day if I can't, because my priorities are offline, home, family, community and do the same thing. Integrity comes from when you don't do what you say, say what you do. And I used to do that. I'll post this video tomorrow and then I never did. So now I say, I'm going to do this and I will do it, but I'm not sure exactly when. You follow your source connection. Have a lovely Friday.